Hey, welcome aboard. So I just picked up the uh, airplane from the avionics shop, and uh, as you can see, we have the new IFD 550, and I got the new AMX 5, uh, 4, 240, <laughs> and I got a special guest. I got my buddy Bob here with me. How you doing? You actually talked to him right there. <laughs> You're everywhere. Everywhere. So we are going to take off from Massey Airport uh, on Control Field. We're going to fly shoreline down uh, down Florida, past Daytona, and then go into St. Augustine. So it'll be a quick flight. You get a, a quick, short example of the stuff here. I am just picking it up, so I am learning it as we speak, which is why we are flying on a nice VFR day and uh, a quick little day flight. So this will be a short little hop. I went ahead and I preloaded New Smyrna Beach, which is the first airport we will come near, and uh, in the second in the first NAVCOM, and I've also preloaded the Daytona in there as well on the standby. So we're currently on COM2, which is Massey. So um, we will make our announcements here. So we're gonna go down, taxi, do our run up, and, uh, and go from there. So welcome aboard. And for those of you who've been following me on Facebook and Instagram, you've seen these upgrades coming because I've been talking about them, posting them on there. So if you're not already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Beach Baron Pilot, or on Facebook on Baron Pilot Page. Both great ways to get insight on what's going on. I got the synthetic vision. How cool is that? Pretty cool. That's all coming from this right here. So they're linked? Yep. Massey traffic, you have a Baron taking a 1-8 for departure eastbound shoreline. Massey. All right, we are clear right. We are clear left. Lane lights on. Now lights on. Fuel pump. All right, numbers line up. All right, gauges in the green. Fuel flow. All right, airspeed alive. Four knots. Positive rate. You're up. Massey Chopper, you have a Baron departing 1 8, turning eastbound to the shoreline. Massey. Alright, we are 400 feet. Go ahead and turn the shoreline. I bring the power back 25 inches. Bring the RPM back 2500 RPM. Massive traffic, you have a bearing departing the pattern eastbound 1000 feet shoreline. All right, now we're going to go ahead and uh, switch over to COM 1, call New Smyrna. New Smyrna Baron 3175 Whiskey is uh, just departing uh, Massey. Want to transition down the shoreline of 1,500 feet? 3175 Whiskey, New Smyrna, transition along your shoreline approved. Altimeter 3013. 3013. All right, so we're going to level off at 1,500 feet. I'm actually going to bring the power back a little bit. We're going to stay nice and low for you and give you a nice view of the shoreline. I have so much stuff I want to play with. This flight is way too short. We're 1,500 feet. Actually, 1,450 feet. So you can see New Smyrna is right off to our left. That's New Smyrna okay, Airport. Okay. Yep. And then Daytona's up ahead. St. Augustine's up and to the left. St. Augustine is that basically will be pretty much due straight where we are now, actually. Okay. Just slightly off. Daytona Perch, Baron 3175, Whiskey Request. Baron calling around outside the Charlie, uh, just a moment. Thank you. Door, Number 3175, Whiskey, Daytona Perch, your request. Yeah, 75 Whiskey is about uh, 8 to the south of Daytona along the shoreline to transition uh, northbound at uh, 1,500 feet. You just want a transition to the Charlie? Do you want flight following somewhere? I'm just going to St. Augustine. Actually, I'll take flight following. Sure, why not? So far, 
You said you were a Baron? For, uh, firm, Baron B-55. What is your requested altitude, sir? Uh, 1,500, so far whiskey. So we're currently at 700 feet. I'm just staying out of their airspace for the moment. Gotcha. November 3175 Whiskey, Squawk 4217. 4217, Sepo Whiskey. November 3175 Whiskey, radar contact, 5 miles southeast of Daytona. Maintain VFR out of below 1000 along shoreline. If you can, if not, I need to vector you uh, over the top of Daytona. Out of below uh, 1000 for Sepo Whiskey. If I was here, Roger, expect a higher passing Daytona. Roger, that's simple. All right, so we just got to stay out of blue 1000. No approach to 465. We'll get back along the shore. We're ready for the approach. We have information whiskey. For 465, Roger, you want to proceed to accept that during the approach, or do you want vectors to final? You're a little loud. Vectors to final, 465. 4465. So there's Daytona Airport right out to our left. Okay. You can see the shoreline, look at all the buildings. Way. No, it's because it's Daytona airspace, so they're just keeping us. Yeah, you know, they have. Yeah. Gotcha. So we can actually go back to the shoreline, but they want us right now to stay below a thousand feet. And then once we get past here, basically once we get past here, they'll go ahead and um, and let us go back up. Okay. Now, if we can't stay below a thousand, or if we refuse to, then they would give us higher and have us cross directly over the airport. Oh, okay. Much nicer view. We're 19 minutes away from St. Augustine. And we just took where's off. Where does it say that? Right here. So you can see St. Augustine, ET, yep. ET, 19 minutes. Gotcha. And that's with us going slow. Then it's call number in KS. Yeah, SGJ. KS Kilo, Sierra Golf, Juliet. What's the 57 gallons? That's what you've used so far? That's how much fuel I'll have when we land. Or basically, it's when we get to that, that waypoint, which in this case is for destination, that's how much fuel I have when I get there. This is accurate, 56? Yep. 35. Yeah, you see here, so there's my remaining. Oh, okay. 65.8, gallons used, 70. Gallons reserve, actually, there, gallons, there you go. Gallons reserve, 58.1. That's what I'll land with. Gotcha. And then gallons destination, 7.7. .7. So this is the same as this? Yep, this, essentially, yeah. Except this is just a bigger version. Now what I do have here, and I'll show the viewers as well, which is, I told everyone I was getting the 550, which has synthetic vision, all this good stuff. But you see on the end there, it says video. So it has my charge and all this stuff. Now when I go to video, and I don't have any video right now, I can actually add to this airplane um, a forward-looking infrared camera so I can see at night on the ground. I actually could have a camera showing me what's in front of me, even when it's pitch black. To be there. That'd be cool. That's a cool little feature. That um, it's an option I asked for, even though I haven't put it in. But if I don't get the option, then I can't add it later, right? right. Yeah. How much um, I don't know yet. I haven't looked. Baby steps. And then this is the other cool thing. So let me see some, yes. just some shopping actually in front of us. I No, this is other, other traffic Roger, right uh, now. Change my frequency, one, two, five, plane, please. And there's synthetic vision. All right, put our ADIS in. Daytona Epic Air 510, 4,000 And then I'm actually going to put it in the tower. Epic Air 510, Daytona Approach, just going to maintain 3,000. But now what we can do is we can listen. Epic Air 510, Ocean Tower, information pop on time, 2250 Zulu, wind 100 at 8. Visibility 10 miles, sky conditions scattered at 2,200. Temperature 290, 2.24, altimeter 3011. Visual approach runway 13. No jams, San Augustine BOR. 3011 and the landing on 13. Glide path localizer not monitored. Use caution for bird activity in the center of the airport, runways and taxiways. Use caution for drone activity within San Augustine class Delta service area below 400 feet. Hazardous weather information for Florida Georgia coastal areas available on high watch, flight watch and flight service frequencies. Advise missile contact, you have pop up. Alright, we have Papa. November 3175, Whiskey traffic, 12 o'clock, 5 miles southbound. It, it looks like they're maneuvering around the shoreline altitude indicates 1,400. Roger, looking for traffic, Whiskey. November 375, Whiskey, looks like they're descending there, 12 o'clock, 3 miles southbound, 1,000 okay, indicated. Roger, Roger, I have traffic in sight, Whiskey. 
That is them Roger. descending. And that's what they're showing here in descending. So the 479, they saw us uh, in descending. How many turns of holding did you want? 479, a hold over SEPTA established. Uh, maintain 2500, we'll report you once we have, we, we're complete with the hold. With the 479. Feedback, correct. Information. So what do you think? It's pretty cool. Pretty neat. A little smoother yeah, than you thought? 4330 heading 220, maintain oh, 4000. Oh, I was in the one before. The one I was in before was a lot smaller, and it was a lot bumpier than this. <laughs> well, we actually have a really nice night, which helps. But yeah, the bigger the planes, the less, less bumpy they tend to be. Yeah. We had, he brought his two kids for ballast in the back. It was that, <laughs> it was that sure. weight-oriented. Sensitive. But it was, it was, it was thrilling. This is neat. And check supports Baron 3175 Whiskey. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to uh, San Augustine. Baron 75 Whiskey, radar services are terminated. Keep your code. Contact the tower. Y'all take care. Over to the tower. Good evening. Thanks for your help. San Augustine. San Augustine Tower, Baron 3175 Whiskey, inbound uh, shoreline. Uh, about nine to the south uh, with Papa. Let's go back just one up, no major changes. Report midfield right traffic, runway 13. Midfield right traffic, 13, some post. To the airport? Yep. Justify 321. You can see the airport right in there. Throwing up on the synthetic vision. Yeah. Alright, we are in gear speed. You see the airport, so that's the bridge we come over and go to Volano. Yeah, right there, yep. So Volano's right over there yeah, to the right. Benedetto's never yep. over there, yeah. Exactly. And then Caps is uh, straight ahead, about where you see that little red light. Uh, it's kind of fading away right now, but there's a light yeah. over there. It's about where Caps should be. Okay. All right, we're going to start descending down the pattern altitude, which is 1,000 feet. Step by Whiskey, the chopper is uh, uh, about 130 and a mile and a half down low. We had shows that you can deviate to the east to pass behind you. Your traffic is a assessed on a one mile left base for touch and go, by that traffic inside. Have the helicopter in sight looking for the Cessna for 317 Okay, yeah, I see. Cessna follow, the follow is just coming up on US 1, short final, no fracture to you, one 1 3 go to land. Have a traffic in sight, go to land, Cessna. Alright, so, where everything gear speed, I'm gonna go ahead and go gear down. Alright, we got three green. I go 10 degrees of flaps. To the runway. All right, go on full flaps. Five hundred. Five hundred feet. Three green. Blue to land. Need to turn that volume down. It's a loud alert. Might the traffic I spoke of, no factor, you may descend your discretion. I appreciate it, 391 Welcome to St. Augustine. Ooh, I'm impressed. <laughs> Not better than some of the uh, jet pilots. Not sure if I appreciate that. I'm impressed thing. Any right turn, contact ground. Right turn of the ground, some of my whiskey all the way down to the end of runway 20, turn right for the Atlantic ramp. All the way in 20 and right to Atlantic, percent my whiskey. Look at that, it even shows the runway on there. That is pretty, pretty awesome. Oh, the accidents. Yeah. So I don't know if this is visible or not, but uh, if it is, I hope you guys enjoyed the flight. Thanks for coming along. Uh, thanks, Bob, for, for coming with me to pick up the airplane. Great. Do it it's again been sometime. way too long since I've <laughs> yeah, I know. even seen the airplane, let alone gone flying in it. It's actually Bob's first time flying in it. So, as always, if you like my video, smash that thumbs up button and uh, hit the subscribe. Biggest thing you can get is your subscription to my channel. So. 
you haven't already, be sure to visit BaronPilot.net and follow me on Instagram on Beach Baron Pilot and on Facebook on Baron Pilot page. So this was a short little flight. Uh, this will give me some time to now, now that I picked up the airplane, experiment with my uh, new toys here. And then my next flight, my next video, I will be um, showing you guys how everything works and all the fun stuff. Come along.